We created the Institute and conducted a great deal of research to really understand what matters most to America's small business owners. And one of the findings of the study was that successful small business owners are a little different than the average small business owners. We're going to talk about that today. That is the success factors that make small business owners more successful than others. The four factors are self-fulfilled, collaborative, tech-savvy, and future-focused. Patty Green and I will talk about them now. Self-fulfillment isn't necessarily about self-fulfillment in a business sense, but about being self-fulfilled in the combination of business and uh, life that makes you a well-rounded person. I think well-rounded people tend to run much better businesses, generally speaking. I actually agree with most of that. Um, I do think that self-fulfilled people are business owners. Really, their lives do fit into it. And I think the reason they're self-fulfilled is because they get to decide what they're trying to do with their business. Well, you know, part of it, too, is back to what's success. So a lot of people, and most economic policies, are driven by the money. And all the research shows that that's not usually the top reason people start businesses. So again, when they're defining what success means, which might be that they can take the time to go fishing or to make sure that they've got this block of time to go to their kid's little league game or something like that. You know, I, I think you really make a good point because ultimately, when you are successful in a small business, you don't want to give it up because it is part of you. Yeah, but we're talking all about being self-fulfilled. It is so personal to them. How to step out of it and, and you know, make that separation. Here's the business, here's me. That's a tough one. It's probably the one they most need to do, though, if they want to grow into a very large business. Okay, let's move on to the second topic. Um, in this case, the topic is collaborative. It's interesting because I think a lot of people have this image of small business owners as being um, you know, control freaks. Mm -hmm. I, I have to do everything, the Tigger complex. You mm -hmm. know, I'm the only one. You know, what do you think, uh, collaborative? What does it mean? How do you do that? Well, I think there's two pieces in there. I mean, the collaboration, there's, there's the one piece that's sort of external. How do they work with other business owners? Like you, all the small business I work with, Many of them say, I'm so lonely, I have no one to talk to. Once they start working with other folks, they can find out how freeing it is to, to really be collaborative and, and that business can be done in a different way working together. The internal piece, delegation, that's probably the number one thing I hear from entrepreneurs, especially those that want to grow, is I know I've got to have more time to work on, on growing the business, not just doing the day to day. And it's one of the hardest things for them to do. Let's talk a little bit about technology and technology and how it relates to small businesses. You know, are we talking just software? Are we talking new tools? What do we actually mean by technology? As our research shows, the, the successful entrepreneurs do use technology uh, to run their businesses. You know, when we talk about technology, we automatically think social media. Mm. We think about the big, big, big picture. But in truth, when it comes to successful small business owners, what they really do is use technology in two very fundamental, very basic ways. The first one, believe it or not, is simply the use of a website, an effective way of using a website. And the other use of technology was, as you mentioned the word itself, you said the use of software that helps us to run our business better or mm -hmm. to do what we do better. I think there's huge generational issues around that as far as even thinking about websites and how it connects to social media. Websites are still, most, for the most part, pretty one way, pretty static. And what we're seeing is that the younger generation, and it does pain me to say the younger generation, they've learned how to connect their websites to other social media tools. And that's where the interaction piece really comes in. The community, the engagement, all those kinds of things. Which brings us to the fourth point, the fourth factor of successful small business owners, which is future focused. The key basically is to know where you're going ultimately. That's one plan to be di separated from the other plan, which is what do we do for the year or whatever. Do you, do you find that sort of same thing? I do. I do agree. And it actually goes back to a lot of entrepreneurship <clears throat> education and training programs. I mean, so many of them are all about writing the business plan. What they mostly really need is that action plan. What are the next three things I need to do in order to get to my next step? So moving towards that future, again, that really goes back to the self-fulfilled type of thing, too, is that I know where I want to go, and these are the next three things I have to do in order to get there. So one of the things that I try to propose is, is what I call a central operating premise, mm -hmm. an idea that basically is the pure distillation of everything that you want to achieve in one sentence. And I think every business, if they're going to have a short-term plan or a long-term plan, needs to spend the time to focus on a central operating premise. What are we trying to achieve? 
Question number one, where are we going, what are we doing? Answer that and you can move forward. So there you have it, success factors that make small business owners more successful than others.